I'm really over it with the attitude, Frank. Be more like Alf. What's going on, sports card hobby family? We are back again, another day, another sports card video. We have made it to the end of the weekend today. We are going to go back to a topic. I actually haven't made one of these types of videos in a while, but we're going to look at some iconic cards, quotation marks, key cards, important cards in the sports card hobby that are down another 20, 30, 40 percent from a year ago. And many will say, oh man, you're just being negative with the video. But really the point of this video is for those that might be looking at these particular cards because they're popular cards. These are cards that are popular in the hobby. Is it now time to get in on these cards? Look, we are three years away, almost three years away from the absolute peak of the sports card market, if you can believe that. Three years, it's 2024. A lot of cards have been steadily declining as we have seen. And these are the types of cards because they are not mega rare, just in high demand. They have seen drops. And so is it now time, question mark, to viewership, given the numbers I'm going to share with you today, to buy into these cards or are you still going to wait? Before I get started, we've got our Friday Cards Showcase. Shout out to Clay at Center Collectibles. You can find him on IG. It's at C-E-N-T-R-E Collectibles on eBay and IG. He's got a wide selection of cards, but he's doing a lot of buying and selling autographed photographs, PSA authenticated autograph photographs. Very interesting. It sent me this Drew Brees autograph photo where you've got the PSA 10 autograph grade. Awesome display pieces. Seen the rise of type one photos and tickets and this sort of thing. So this segment, not as collected yet so far, but I thought it was interesting. So definitely check out Clay's site there at Center Collectibles to get more of a feel on these signed photos. On the back of that, we also have J cards with a special Mike Leach autograph photo. Of course, the late Mike Leach, college football coaching legend. He's at DR Cards on IG. I'll put a picture up here so you can find him, but a very, very cool listing there for the Mike Leach autographed photo. Shout out to VintageBreaks.com. Guys, if you are in the live chat, VintageBreaks.com, and you mentioned that you saw Sports Car Dad, you saw them on the Sports Car Dad channel, it's $25 for you to spend on the site. They're always live streaming on the Vintage Breaks YouTube channel, and then, of course, VintageBreaks.com. They are also giving away a 58 Tops Mickey Mantle All-Star PSA 6 on Monday, February 19th, so make sure you're tuning into their live shows this week to find out more details. I'll put a picture up of that card. Very, very cool card. Vintage Break sells vintage packs. They do set breaks, box breaks, and they also do modern breaks like 2023 Panini Flawless Baseball as well. So not just the vintage stuff. Make sure to check out VintageBreaks.com as well as their YouTube channel. And again, 25 bucks if you mention in the chat that you saw them on the Sports Card Dad YouTube channel. West Georgia Sports Cards on Heritage Auctions has got a couple of unbelievable items. They've got an uncut sheet of 93 finest basketball cards. A rare item, very cool item, especially since we've got a lot of 90s card collectors, the refractor collectors that are in the hobby. A lot Spend a lot of money on rare inserts and that sort of stuff. Not only do they have the 93 uncut sheet for basketball, but they've also got the baseball version, refractor version, 89 cards up for auction on Heritage Now. I'll put a link in the video description and, and in the pinned comments so you can go and take a look at this thing. It's absolutely incredible. And then last but certainly not least, Wooten Sports Cards on what not 10,000 followers, five-star reviews selling all sorts of different types of stuff. But a heavy emphasis, I'm a big football card collector, so he's got stuff every week that he is selling. Typically sells out of everything there on Whatnot. Make sure to check out Wooten Sports Cards on Whatnot. Give him a follow so you don't miss out on some great deals. All right, friends, we now dive into five sports cards, very popular cards, that have continued to drop over the last 365 days. I'm going to start with a card that I'm going to just put it out there. I want to own this card. At some point, I will have one in my collection. I'm still dancing back and forth as to whether or not I want to go for a 10 or a 9. But let's look at the 2000 Topps Chrome Tom Brady. We'll look at the PSA 10 is sitting at $7,100. That is a negative 40%. From 12 months ago. This was over $10,000 if we go back a year. And I can remember during peak times, this thing was sitting at what, $25,000, $30,000? It got, it got up there. And so the 10 down to $7,100. And the big question mark for me, does it continue to sink? If this was a $5,000 card, 
I think that I would have to really put some thought into, do I want to consolidate up into it? Take maybe some of my other Brady stuff or just other cards in the collection. Do I really want these? Because I would really like to own this in a 10 or an SGC 10. We'll have to see a PSA 9. $2,065 recent sale, and that's negative 22.1% from 365 days ago. The PSA 8 at $1,250, that's a negative 28%. So this card, not a rare card by any stretch, but this is kind of his flagship rookie card if we're looking at Brady. If you want to get really pricey, there's a refractor version of this card, and it's many multiples of the price because it is more rare, of course. That would be a, kind of a big-time grail card for me. I don't think I'm ever getting into that, that echelon of buying a $50,000 refractor version of this card. But that is one that I am absolutely watching as a Tom Brady collector. I do have rookie cards, and I've got a lot of the 10, 15-year refractors. I am trying to build out kind of a nice Tom Brady collection. One that I would love to have is that. Let's go to the guy that's trying to unseat him as the GOAT. 2017 Prism Mahomes rookie card. This is a very interesting card. I personally, and a lot of my other content creator friends and viewers, have seen that this is a highly shilled card on eBay. People are price protecting the hell out of this card. It's now currently sitting, there's multiple sales here, right at about $4,000 for this one here recently. That's a negative 19.7% from what we saw going back a year ago. And this is after he just won his third Super Bowl. And I know many will say, well, hey, you know, there's always kind of a dip after they win and then it'll pick back up in the next few months. And that's something to watch. And I agree, maybe three months from now, this card starts to really move up as it sinks in like, oh my God, this guy just won his third title. The same amount of titles at 28 that Tom Brady had, 28-29. So there is a lot of speculation. Is Mahomes going to unseat Tom Brady as the GOAT? Is he going to win seven, eight titles? Is he going to break all the passing records? There's a lot of excitement around Mahomes. This card hasn't moved, though. This is basically flat since he won the Super Bowl at about $4,000. But like I said, be incredibly careful with this card because it is shilled. This card, over time, there are people out there that are protecting the price of this card. And let me remind you too, and I understand price appreciation and all that, I remember looking at this card going back to fall of 2019, again, before the breakout, before the boom, this was a $400 card on eBay all day. I actually, I bought the nines because they were $140. The 10 was 400 and I was like, oh my God, I can't spend $400 on a football card. Well, that, that was a mistake going back, but, but Mahomes definitely an outlier to, to all the other players. So again, you, you just have to kind of think about that. This is, a, this is 10x from where it was five years ago, and that's after coming off of highs that were way above this $4,000 price. I understand it's probably never going to be a $400 card again, but $4,000 $4, is a lot of money. PSA 9, $1,099. This one is actually up 10% from where it was a year ago. And there will be some examples of this. PSA 8 at $675, that is up 20% from where it was a year ago. So that can kind of show you in different grades, there can be ups and downs. So not only could it be a card that's up and down, but the actual grades of that card can go up and down. You've got the 10 that's down almost 20%, you've got the nine that's up 10% year over year. What can you do? Next, we're going to go to a card, and again, I'll throw in kind of some disclaimers here as we're talking about a vintage football card. 58 Tops Jim Brown, and we're looking at recent pricing. This can be really tricky. I've talked about this on the show before. When you're looking at vintage, it's all about eye appeal. I've got a Bart Starr rookie card and an SGC4, and it looks better than a lot of PSA or SGC6s that I've seen. It just depends on what you're prioritizing. For me, it's centering and it's surface registration. Some people want sharp corners and they want clean edges. For me, it's centering and it's just the registration. Does the surface look nice? And so I was happy, happy to take a four that had maybe some rounded corners on it, but others might not feel that way. And these prices can be all over the place. So we take this with a grain of salt. But I think overall, it does kind of tell the story here. The 58 Tops Jim Brown, again, it's an older card. It's not a rare card, though. You go to a card show, you go to the National, you will see a truckload of Jim Brown rookie cards. A PSA 6 recently sold for $2,075. That's a negative 39% from what we saw 12 months ago. Now, let, this could be a, a way off-centered PSA 6, as I said, so keep this all in mind as we're talking about these prices. We got an SGC 5 recent sale at $1,650. That's a negative 14% from where it was SGC 5 going back 365 days. And a PSA 4 sold for $857. 
that's a negative 22.1% from what we saw a year ago. Even though we're taking these prices with a grain of salt, though, what this does tell me overall is probably the Jim Brown market has cooled off. He also did pass away here over the last 12 months. For me and my buddy Flip and Steve has talked about a six actually for a Jim Brown rookie card. As these prices, if they continue to fall, I had this card in a PSA three. A Jim Brown was one of the first cards that I bought when I got back into the hobby in 2018 was a three, a Jim Brown rookie card for 200 bucks. And again, back then I thought $200 was crazy to spend on a sports card. But here we are now, you look at the prices now and you're like, okay, well, that was actually pretty good. But again, as these prices, if they continue to sink, I wouldn't mind getting into a higher grade Jim Brown rookie card, higher of a grade of a vintage card that I think looks good. And again, I'm not as worried about the corners. If, if they've got sharp corners, there's a chance it could have been trimmed. You know, I'm, I'm okay with fuzzy corners if everything else looks amazing. So that's the Jim Brown rookie card. Next up, another very popular player in the hobby, Kobe Bryant, 1996 Topps Chrome, Kobe Bryant. Again, not a rare card at all, but a high demand card. Of course, the refractor version of this goes for multiples. But let's look at the PSA 10 1996 Topps Chrome sitting at 5299 a recent sale. That's actually plus 0.4%, so basically flat from where it was 365 days ago. But what's interesting is when you look at the lower grades, PSA 9, $1,125 recent sale. That's a negative 22.1% from what we saw a year ago. PSA 8, $610. That's a negative 38.7% from what we saw going back a year. So that's a kind of an example. If you, maybe you won't, you don't want to spend five grand on the 10, but maybe you're looking at the nine. That's kind of where I am with the top Brady, Tom Brady, uh, Bowman Chrome rookie card where the 10 is 7,000, but the nine is 2,000. I'm, I'm looking at maybe taking a shot at the nine. The nine is many multiples less here uh, from the 10 at $1,125. So if you're a huge fan, you've been kind of just waiting on this card. Maybe it went to the moon during the height and you're like, you know, I've been waiting to get in and now it's finally getting to a price point to where it makes sense. This 96 Topps Chrome Kobe Bryant, again, not a rare card at all, but a mint copy and a nine has, is down 22% and an eight, a near mint mint copy is down to 600 bucks at the negative 38%. So interesting there. Last but certainly not least, we got to talk about the all-time leading NBA scorer, 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James PSA 10s. These famously went up to $40,000, $45,000 during the height. And if you remember, Gary Vee famously bought these, what, a 2018-19 national for $1,000 a pop. I think he said he bought 40 or 50 of them. I wonder how many he still has left there. PSA 10 sitting at $4,300. That's negative 38.4% from where it was going back 12 months. PSA 9, $1,187 sale here recently, negative 32.6%. And a PSA 8, $727. That's a negative 25.1%. So LeBron James kind of in the twilight of his career. This card, again, not a rare card, but it is that flagship rookie. It is kind of the go-to rookie, that tops chrome LeBron James rookie card. It's sunk quite a bit, especially especially way off of the all-time highs. We're talking like 90% drop from the all-time highs. But even in the last 12 months, it's down another 20, 30, 40% almost for the PSA 10. And I think it makes you wonder, you know, is it starting to get to a point where, you know what, maybe if this thing, you know, $4,300 sale for the 10, if that gets in the threes, I think a lot of people are probably a buyer, you know, at $3,000, $3,500 for that 10. Because LeBron James, he's locked in his legacy. His basketball legacy is set, and he is the guy for a lot of that next generation coming up. For me, I grew up watching Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. The others grew up watching Kobe, and now you've got the LeBron James folks. He's been around for so long, such a long career. He's always going to be a mainstay, a popular hobby figure for cards. So there you have it. Is it a buying opportunity for some of these, or... Is it time to chill out and just keep on waiting it out a little bit for these cards? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, my friends. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.